Hey folks, Larry the Elf here. Welcome to you to our politically incorrect Christmas show. You guys having a good time so far? Excellent. Good to hear. Good to hear. So looking out in the audience here, I see there's a lot of people that look pretty fit and trim. They probably work out. Some of you probably even got six packs. Not me. I got a okay. <laughs> Which leads to one very important question. Hey ladies, who here wants to tap this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm not really here to tell you guys jokes tonight. I'm here to explain the laugh of an elf and Santa's origins so you can enjoy the show on a deeper level. Before I get started with that though, I want to explain some things to you. You're probably wondering why I sound like this. I don't sound like an elf, you think. You probably think I'm an old, angry elf who's been drinking bourbon and whiskey and smoking cigars my whole life. It's not the case. It's not the case. Turns out, all that choo-choo smoke takes its toll real quick. I'm only 12 years old, I ain't even hit puberty yet. <laughs> Look, thank Claus, I drank all my milk so I didn't stun the growth. <laughs> However, I do still suffer from incompetence. So it turns out there ain't a whole lot of fiber in sugar plums and candy canes. <laughs> but anyway, about Santa, you probably don't know this bird of study, but Santa Claus got his start in the dark ages. He was born with two gifts, much like God himself. He was born with immortality and omnipresence, the ability to be anywhere at once. And he thought for a long time, how can I use this to make the world a better place? You know, and he came up with a solution that he would give toys to all the nice children. It was a very easy thing to do in the dark ages because we were some vile motherfuckers in the dark ages. There weren't a lot of group out. But it turns out that you share a day with Jesus' birth because people love Jesus. The word gets out that you're good and you love Jesus. You get presents. So every year, it make three, four, five times as many presents for everybody. And he started getting busy. Because he didn't realize, he didn't realize the one thing, big old Papa Noel, he did not realize the one thing more motiv motivating to humanity. And by the way, he loves it when you call him Big Papa. He did not realize the one thing more motivating to humanity than religion. It's great. People love preaching, man. So anyway, he needed help eventually. He was making so many toys he couldn't do it himself. So he started hiring elves. And if you've ever wondered where elves come from, and you've also ever wondered what the fuck happened to Willow, <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> same thing. One last thing here about Father Christmas before I get into elves. Now, you probably heard the joke about him. How come Santa sacks so big? Because he only comes once a year. It's a funny joke. It's a funny joke. But you're not focused on what's important. Why is he only coming once a year? <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's because between that big old sack and that bowl full of jelly, lots of tiny little pepper. It's embarrassingly small. I'm just saying there's a reason there ain't no Santa Junior. <laughs> but anyway, last but else, you know, we work at Santa's toy shop. He probably heard it's kind of like a sweatshop. That's not the truth. That's bitches lives spread by you. It's beautiful there. We got climate controlled AC. In the bitch for last to the elves, we're all very comfortable. We get a ton of drinks and a very generous vacation package. I mean, yeah, we gotta dress up as God knows to take them. <laughs> but we take a ton of them. How many times have you been to Hawaii this year? Five. Fuck three. Fuck you five. And being an expert. In the present business, I kind of know a thing or two about gift giving. So oftentimes a gentleman will talk to me like, hey, elf, I got this girl, right? What should I get her for Christmas? I can't figure it out. It's our first Christmas together. I'm like, that's real easy, sir. Just get her something expensive and useless. <laughs> she will love it. <laughs> anyway, uh, you didn't hear, by the way, that Santa's workshop is also, the sweatshop is probably because you also heard the rumor about Mrs. Claus and her raging case of jingle fever. She just loves to fuck herself when we're dressed up in our 
work seems to accompany time. And he loves it. Loves it. Such a good life we got out there. Every time I go to sleep, when I lay myself down to sleep, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All right, guys, my name is Darren Yell. You guys have yourself a wonderful evening.